Hey guys, do you know what time it is? It's time for FM20, boys and girls, if there's some girls out there. Don't want to be sexist. Thanks for dropping by the channel. Welcome, of course, to FM20, the pre-release beta version. You notice down here in the right-hand corner. Uh, released today. So I am going to record this. I'm recording this on Thursday. I am going to try to have this rendered and up tonight. And I'm going to go ahead and do a second episode to have up for tomorrow while I'm out working. And then I'll get into the regular routine on the weekend. Uh, real quick, Mike Goodman, welcome to the channel. Uh, Kenrick Furlong, welcome to the channel. A couple of new new uh, subscribers. Ryan Woodsmall, welcome to the channel to you, Ryan. Uh, and Mirror Warrior, last four guys to come in over the last five days. So, all right, you know, some, some recent activity. Thank you very much. Again, not sure what game or what, what uh, play, playlist they came in on, but hopefully they see this. I may mention it in another uh, episode, another episode, uh, Miss Survival or whatever, because um, I want to make sure they, you know, they get credit. Much appreciated, you know, very small YouTube channel. Uh, this is going to be, I'm in my third year, hard to believe, third year of uh, uploading videos and doing stuff. And man, I have come a long way. If you go look at some of my early stuff, it was crap. But, you know, it was before I knew about rendering and um, anything, anything like that. I had no idea what rendering was. I was just doing straight recording and uploading yeah, and, and yeah, I, I got a lot of comments that it was just not very good. And, you know, hey, in fairness, they were right. Hopefully it's gotten better. I've added the camera last year with FM19. Uh, but this is, uh, this will be my fourth version of Football Manager putting videos out for. Uh, very excited. I've already seen a lot of new stuff in the game. Um, honestly, I don't do a lot of rollout or unboxing videos. Um, I play the games. That's what I do. Uh, so I'll leave that to other people. You guys can, uh, you know, of course, we'll, we'll look at some new things. But right off the bat, you can see the new, uh, you know, the new streamlined uh, toolbar up here. You know, a little bit different coloration. Now, this could change because I am going to download a skin uh, that I like uh, once it's released. They release it every year. I will keep an eye out for it, but it will probably be a week, maybe before that comes in. Uh, everything on the side is still pretty much the norm. Uh, email, I mean, a lot of it looks very similar, but just a little different, you know what I'm saying? So, we are at Real Madrid for the beta save. Now, I picked Real Madrid for one specific reason. And this is where I wish I was much better at tactics, right? Uh, last World Cup, Luka Modric uh, set the world on fire. I, I had never heard of him, to be fair. And uh, Croatia just impressed everybody, I think, around the world. And uh, their captain, Luka Modric, the, the midfielder, what a player. What a player. And uh, so I was looking for somebody... Going back to when I was really, you know, when I was much younger, Carlos Valderrama was a player that I really admired uh, his play. And, and he wasn't a finisher. He was a playmaker, a distributor, a facilitator. And I really, really appreciate that part of the game, the ability to move the ball. Um, and you guys know if you've watched my channel, I'm a Leeds United fan. And uh, we have a player, Pablo Hernandez. He is a wizard with the ball. He can finish, but it's just his, he's just magical with the ball. Um, not to the point that Valderrama was. Valderrama was otherworldly. And even players, you know, your Messi's, your Ronaldo's that are good with the ball or great with the ball, they're more finishers than, than playmakers. And so I, I was kind of looking for somebody that was more traditional playmaker. And if we look at Modric, uh, 19 first touch, 17 dribbling, 19 passing, only a nine finishing. So he's not, you know, he's really not 
not there in in the in the in the scoring category. And if we look at his history, you know, one to three goals is kind of his norm. Uh, actually, I'm surprised he doesn't have more assists. And I wonder that could just be something that's not in the game yet as a beta version. That's my thinking. Um, so anyway, Luka Modric, that's who I wanted to play with. And uh, again, we're going to play around with the tactics a little bit and get kind of comfortable here so we can play some football. Um, so we have gone through the early part of the season, uh, a lot of clean sheets and FC Bayern just beat us down. Uh, two nil. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I want to put... Manage view, matches, goal scorers. There we go. No? Nothing? Hello? All right, so we've got our goal scorers up here. Luca scored a, a goal in the first game. All right, so I put the goal scorers in here. Luca scored in the first match. You can take a look at that. Gareth Bale has scored in a couple of matches. Uh, yeah, the, the, I wish that would show... Uh, I don't know. I wish that should. I like the, the, the dots. That's what I like. But anyway, that's why we're playing with uh, Real Madrid. Uh, we are picked to finish second, I believe. Yep, 5-2. to two. Uh, Barcelona's picked to win it. So, um, But anyway, we'll look at some of the screens as we go through. But let's get into our first match. Uh we did real quick. We have made a couple of moves. Uh, nothing major. That's new. New bar. All right. So that's new. The little bars here for the money. I, yeah, that's. I like that. That's. Uh, oh, that's your in and your out. Okay, that's cool. So all of these were before the game started. Uh, they so they sold some players. Wow, that's a lot of players. Jesus. Um. And we are in August, so we loaned out. We loaned out a few players. As far as bringing in, uh, I did bring in Danny Olmo uh, for thirty million dollars. Uh, he came to us from somewhere, Dynamo in Croatia. So uh, we have signed him, and he'll be uh, he'll be in the squad, but he won't be a starter. Dropping thirty million on a player is so unusual. I'm not used to that. Um, and we had an issue. Oh, Casemiro. I took the job. He threw a hissy fit. He's he's pretty good, right? You know, but he wanted to leave. I I don't know. He started. He didn't start any. Yeah, he, he played 29 matches. So anyway, we loaned him. Uh, we tried to sell him. Uh, somebody came in for him and they offer. Oh, PSG came in for him and offered like 36 million or eh, like, I don't know, $56 million, which was below his actual value. And he's got like a 212 million release clause or something stupid. So I asked for like 140 million and they pulled out and then he got, he got even more pissed off. So I've loaned him out to Tottenham. So he's their problem. Um, I put a little more thought and concern into it if this was going to be a long-term save, but we know this is just a beta save. Let's get into it already, RC. Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, team selection. We are favored. It's 80 degrees and calm. Uh, you know me. I use uh, guidelines for 90% physical condition, and I put my best assistant to do the picking for me. So we're going to go with Benzema up top. Uh, very good finisher. Uh, I mean, he's pacey. I mean, don't get me wrong. Everybody looks quality what I'm used to. Uh, Eden Hazard, isn't he German? Is he German? I think he plays for Germany. Yes. Yes, Germany. I got it. Woo. He's on one wing. Gareth Bale, England? Uh, Wales. Sorry. Did not mean to insult anybody. He's from Wales. My bad. Luka Modric, our guy. Kroos. Where's he from? Another German. Excellent. Valverde in the Regista. 
I have never played with a Regista. Um, not actually sure what that does. Information. An aggressive version of the Deep Lying Playmaker. Possession-oriented si systems that press high up. Dictate play from deep positions. All right. So that's our Regista Valverde. Uh, then we have Marcelo. I thought that was Marcelo Bielsa. I was hoping. But 31-year-old uh, Brazilian. He's there. Uh, who's this? Odrazola. All right. He is Spanish. 23 years old. Four caps for Spain. Varon in the center. That's French, yes? Yes. I know my flags pretty well. And I'm getting the double click. Have not gotten a new mouse yet, if you're wondering. Um, and the captain, Sergio Ramos. We just signed him to a new deal. He still looks really good, doesn't he, at 33? Jesus. And uh, Courtois. He's Belgium. Okay, that's kind of French. It's right across the border. We know about borders in that French, French Belgian area, especially the German guys, right? I didn't say that. I did not say that. All right. Um, now, injury wise, we've got a bunch of unregistered guys, so I don't want. Let's just take the unavailable out. Uh, well, real quick, we want to look at the injured players. So Danny Olmo's out for three more weeks. Asenio's out for eight months. He's not registered. He's out for the year. And everybody else is unregistered, so we're going to click out the unavailable. That gives us enough for our squad. And let's play some football. Uh, our tactics are a uh, attacking 4-3-3 wide. Uh, this is a custom vertical tick attacker from the drop down. I don't know what's custom about it. Oh, I changed something in it. Uh, then we have a positive 4-1-2-3 uh, DM wide. And we have a cautious 4-1-2-3 where we can play a little more defensively, like if we get a lead, want to slow down the pace. And real quick, I want to look at, so a, if I play here, so Modric, box to box, defending, attacking, and then uh, the advanced playmaker, is operates drop into holes i like that one i want to play that i think that's more ball handling for him so let's go with this tactic uh i'm going to raise it up to attacking uh we're good there we're good there we're good there done all right uh we're still working on familiarity and everything of course but let's play come on rc we want to play get some game time going let's go all right i'm looking forward to this i haven't set anything up yet because all the friendlies my man Ooh, what the hell four four two two one one or a four four one one with two deep anchors volantes interesting all right, uh, there we go. Hand over to the assistant. All right, so that's a little different. Cool. Awesome. In team talk, kickoff. I don't know if you have to hit a, oh God. All right, there's something in the setup that you I think you could put if you're a new manager or not. I didn't realize it would have all that stuff. So yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, real quick, we want uh, key highlights, right? Match speed, during highlights. Uh, between highlights, text only highlights. Director. All right, let's get to it. All right, we are in the white. Gatapi is in the blue. All right, there's a pass up to Bale. Kickoff highlight, I'm sure. Oh, squared into Modric. Oh, wow, an actual highlight here early. Modric, back outside. 
I'm getting a little lag here. That's unusual. Oh, almost had a shot on goal. All right. So. All right, Bale crosses it to Marcelo, drives into the box, lays it off. Cruz looked like a good save. So I'm interested in watching the game here. Oh, he lumps it. Ramos makes the run, taps it back to Courtois. All right, good play out of the defense. All right. Bail. Dropped in. Cruz. Oh, off the woodwork. All right, there's one. Oh, come on, boys. A lot of highlights. All right, so let's see. So let me know in the comments what you think, guys, about the, you know, remember there's supposed to be some new gameplay graphics here, new new rendering of the models. The players do look a little different, a little bit better. Okay, I hate the long shots, Cruz. We need to stop that. Now remember that you know if you're used to seeing the certain windows on my on my match screen there, uh, those are from a skin that I use. Oh, there's a shot, Madrid. Oh, how fitting it! He gets the first goal of the season for us, and a cartwheel for good measure. There should be a skip option. There it is. That's different. Squared in, a header. Um, oh, Gareth Bale with a goal. That looked off a set piece. So we'll have to watch that one. I was looking to do a shout, which... All right, Modric. Oh, nice little header by Bale. Beats the keeper. So a goal and an assist for, the, for our... Vice captain, assistant captain. No, oh, bail. Ah, off target. Okay, get creative. Nine shots to one. Two on target. That's horrible. Modric into the box. Oh, Hazard with the volley. His first goal of the season makes it 3-0. And we are looking good. Somebody's at the door, T. All right. Cruz. Valverde. Back to Cruz. Oh, that was a little hard, but a good header to the touchline. Bale drives a header wide. Okay, so shot off target. So 16 to 1 here in the first half. That's good. Um, I cannot change this to league table. That's okay. Um, Modric, 93% pass, percent pass completion. All right, we are going to be assertive. Very happy. Start the second half. All right, he lumps it deep. All right, so second half, we're up 3-0. God, I am so glad this, this is out. I was not expecting it for about another week. So, pleasant surprise today driving around working and get that Twitter notification that, uh, hey, you need to take half a sick day. But I couldn't do that. Could not do that. I lumped into the box. Hazard. 
Oh, he stayed on side and made a brilliant play. The keeper should have gotten to that ball. That was that was good for us. Brutal for Getafe. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If you're new to the channel, if you're tuning in because it's FM20, uh, I do get a little scatterbrained. It's because I'm old, if you couldn't tell with my gray hair. Uh, it's just how it is. Let's make our first sub. Courtois is complacent. Um, Gareth Bale. Let's put uh, let's put Lucas Vasquez up there, and let's bring off Luca, and we'll put on uh, Isco. Playing some really good ratings. Looks like they haven't fixed the keepers yet. You're still at a under a seven unless you pull off like worldy penalty saves. Modric a 9-1 with the goal and the assist. A goal and assist for Gareth Bale. And let's pop a striker in up top here right at the end. Cruz. Oh, I thought we had a shot for a late one there. So what do you, oh, 34 to 1 on shots. We just dominated this game. Uh, we want to say passionate, very happy. All right, so, uh-oh, clean sheet, first victory. Yes. And, uh, oh, Levante had a plus six goal differential over Granada. Grenada, ouch. Uh, who was the uh, club that we played with? Was it Villarreal? No. Competition. Valencia. No. Do they have the same stadium name? They do. Um, well, hell, what stadium do we play in? Oh, hold on. Yes, the sta ceramic stadium. So it was Villarreal we played that we used. I remember the stadium name. Okay, I don't know why it defaulted. I was in Villarreal and then it went back to Real Madrid weird all right um yeah so let's get into it i'm gonna play a, a few games let's find out who we draw in the champions cup and we'll probably come back for a couple of champions cup matches and uh probably barcelona uh so maybe this one and skip Sevilla and play barcelona guys i'm so looking forward to this uh fourth version of football manager that i will be featuring on my channel um as always, comment away, please. Hit the like button, subscribe. Hitting the like button does a couple of things. I use it to tell me what you're interested in and if you like what I'm doing. And it also helps with the YouTube algorithms and gets more people uh, aware of my channel because naturally, you can, you know a channel my size. If you just search FM20, uh, I am not gonna be at the top of the list of suggested videos uh, for people to discover. So anyway, uh, thank you for being here. Hope you enjoy this season. Uh, hopefully we can do Real Madrid proud. And uh, I am looking forward to the beta version. So let me know what you guys think of the beta version in the comments as well. And we'll see you next episode. Take care. Bye.